Hi, my name is Antonio Maradiaga, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to consume the SAP Arriba APIs from the SAP API Business Hub. I will first show you how to interact with the Sandbox environment. Then I will create an environment and retrieve the data from an SAP Arriba test production realm. We have some prerequisites. An approved application in the SAP Arriba developer portal, similar to the one that you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, also, we need to know the region where our test production realm is located, as we will need to specify this when creating an environment. Your administrator should have generated an OAuth secret and shared the details with you. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the application key, OAuth client ID, and secret that I'll be using in this video. In case you wonder what the Base64 encoded client and secret uh, is, it is basically the OAuth client ID concatenated with the secret and encoded in Base64. We can see this in the terminal. So we'll do an echo of this. And decode it with a base64. And you'll see here that this is our auth client ID, exactly the same as we see here at the top. And this is our auth secret. That. So now that we have the details that we need, let's jump to the SAP API business hub. We need to navigate to api.sap.com. Here, you'll be able to find the APIs available for the different SAP products. So if you're interested in knowing the APIs available for, let's say, the SAP Cloud Platform or S4 HANA, you can find them here. So now we will search for the SAP Ariba APIs. Okay, let's click on the first link. Here, there's a list of all the APIs that are available uh, for SAP Ariba. So now uh, let's go to the supplier data API. The application details that I show you before on the screen are the application details for the supplier data API with pagination. This is why we're selecting this API. So here we have the vendor data request, for example. So now as a test, let's just consume the sandbox environment for the vendor data request. We click the try it out button and it will tell us to log in. So we end up logging in. After login, we can try it out again. I can just use this dummy data that's here. That should be fine. You can see that as part of the API, there is uh, all the documentation regarding all the different parameters. Uh, it could be a header or query parameters. Um, and then there's this execute button. When we click the execute button, what the web page will do is that it will end up um, querying this uh, API. In this case, we are communicating with a sandbox environment. So you'll see that everything that's being returned, it's uh, basically dummy data. It will give you an idea of the fields that uh, the API returns, but uh, it's not really any meaningful data. So in order to see meaningful data, let's go ahead and uh, create um, an environment. For that, we will need to go to configure environments. And here we will end up specifying our environment. Okay. So this is important. So the starting URL basically defines which environment you want to communicate with. Uh, as mentioned at the beginning of the prerequisites, you will need to know that region because here you can select the different regions. So for example, we want to communicate with test production realms that are located in the US. We select this URL. If it's you, then it will be this. For Russia and all the different regions, you'll be you'll need to select a different URL here. So, for this, we'll just select the US region. We will name it um, SDP My Test Realm, and we need to specify here the client ID. So we'll just copy the client ID here. Paste that, and now uh, we need the OAuth secret as well. We copy that, we paste it here. We need to also specify our OAuth server. So in this case, you see that whatever I end up typing in the region OAuth, it will end up uh, placing it here. So in the case of the US environment, it will be api.ariba.com slash v2. And you can see here that it's the slash v2 OAuth token. 
If it was the uh, European environment, for example, it would be API-EU. But in our case, it's the US environment, so we'll just leave it as api.arriva.com. We'll apply this environment to all APIs in this package, and we will save this environment for future sessions. Remember that the application will only have access to one API. So the application detail center here will only work for this particular API. In this case, the supplier data API with pagination. If you want to consume other APIs, let's say, for example, the analytical reporting APIs, a different environment will need to be created. Okay, so let's say this. Okay. We can see that now that we've created our test environment, the web page has selected automatically for us. We can see here that we have a sandbox environment and the environment that we just created. So let's go to the vendor data request method and try it out. So for this, we need to click the try out button. When trying out, uh, we will need to edit these values because uh, this is a live environment. So we just need to make sure that this works. For example, uh, I'll set the output format to I'll replace this from CSV to JSON. Uh, also, uh, sorry, uh, and um, I will just uh, retrieve the generate custom fields in this case. I don't want to specify any additional parameters, so I'll just click the execute button. We can see that we're getting a 401 error. Basically, we haven't specified an API key in our request. So for that, what we need to do is we need to add a header parameter, which is our API key. So remember from the details that our administrator should have shared with us, one of them is the application key. So we'll copy this value and specify it here. Now let's clear this again and execute. After clicking execute, and it has retrieved some data. Uh, you can see that uh, the web page shows us uh, the URL that it's making the request to. And this is, um, this is my response. So you'll be able to see here real data. So this is data from, from my realm. In this case, it's retrieving all the vendor IDs that are, that are in, that, um, in that realm. Okay. So what happens is that the API Business Hub will authenticate using our application details. Then it uses the access token to retrieve the data from the realm. So to see this, uh, let's, um, let's copy this uh, SM vendor ID. And we'll use this in a different method. So let's navigate to fetch workspaces. Let's say that I want to retrieve all the workspaces for that particular vendor. Okay. So let's try this out. We specify the vendor ID. Remember that we need to enter an API key. If not, we will get that for one error that we were getting before. So let's just copy this again and paste it here. That's good. And now we click execute. So now we see that the web page has returned some data. Again, the the sample the request URL that uh, the web page ends up uh, sending the request to, and here we see our data. So in this case, this vendor, for example, has uh, this workspaces supply request workspace, a registration workspace, and we can see now how we can end up using the SAP API Business Hub in order to be able to interact with the SAP Ariba APIs. Thank you.